This week on Basics, we're talking about big ears. Big ears are a descent technique and they get their name because when they're engaged the glider looks like it has big flappy ears. As you're flying a glider you have a sink rate, but as the air isn't still that sink rate will go up or down. For instance if you're in a thermal you might be going up but as you get to the top of lift there might be a cloud there and if you want to avoid the cloud you need to either move out or if it's too late you need to increase your sink rate. Big ears increase your sink rate by reducing the effective lift area of the wing and also increasing drag. In most wings the way to engage big ears is to go fully hands up on the brakes, grab the outermost A's, pull and hold them in. These are not the stabilo lines that are connected to the wingtips. The outermost A's are connected to the leading edge at the front and on the outside of the wing. Depending on the wing, you might need to hold the outer A's with a lot of pressure or they might stay in on their own, but in either case you shouldn't use your brakes. To steer the glider you're limited to weight shifting on your harness, but you can still use speed bar and this will further increase your sink rate. Different wings may require different techniques to get in and out of big ears, so the best thing is to read the manual for your wing. You shouldn't use big ears close to terrain or when your wing is wet. And if you practice them in a safe place when you don't need it, you will know what to expect when you do need it. Alright, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to say a big thank you to everyone on Patreon for being the sponsors of this video. And if you're interested in other videos like this, we have a whole playlist of them. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!